three secrets of smart art. Number one, if you have a bulleted list, you can click into that bulleted list. We have a dotted line around the outside of the placeholder. Click on that placeholder to turn it into a solid line. And now everything within that placeholder is selected. On the home tab, we have this button here, convert to smart art. Click on that. And then we have a series of options that we can convert our text to. If we click on more smart art graphics, we can then choose to convert that list into another smart art. That's number one. Secret number two. If we have a smart art, let's use this one here, we can click on it, go to smart art design. And if we want to change it back to text, we have convert to text under the convert drop down button. Convert to text and then we're back to that bulleted list. Secret number three. If we have a smart art and we want to make it our own, like this one, I click on this, go to smart art design, go to convert, and this time I'm going to convert to shapes. And now what I have is a series of shapes that I can easily edit and make my own. For example, perhaps I want to change the bullseye to a different color. And now I've got a series of grouped shapes. I can click on shape format and I can quite easily change that to a red color. And maybe I want to change the outside box, uh, the outside circle as well. And I can quite easily do that and make that shape my own. It also means that I can edit the text very easily. And perhaps that's a case of dragging that, dragging that out, making those text boxes single rows. Just makes it very, very easy to edit. So that's convert to shapes. Another example of where we can use SmartArt when we've converted it to shapes is to go through the topics we're going to discuss during our presentation. So for example, if these were the five topics that we were going to discuss, we could convert the smart art to shapes. I've opened the selection pane on the side here and I can see that I've got a group of the freeform shapes here. Uh, these can be ungrouped to work with them. And what I can do then is I can change these individually. So for this example, what I would do is I would gray out the other four shapes and just leave this shape in the original color, because then my audience know that's what I'm going to go on to discuss next. And the series of slides after that are going to be in relation to that topic. So basically what I've done here is grayed out these shapes and then change that, changed the boxes to be a different one that's highlighted for each of the topics we're going through. So when we're running that series of slides, we have something like this, where to start with, we're talking about our agenda and our topics. And then we have the first one that is highlighted whilst the others are grayed out. We have a series of slides in between, and then we have this slide. So then we know we're going on to the next topic and we're leading our audience into that next item on our agenda. So that's it for smart art. That's three tips, three secrets to smart art that are really going to help you work with it in the future. Thanks for watching this video. Please make sure that you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'd love to see your comments. Thanks very much. Bye.